Hey guys, Dave again. Welcome back to the channel. So in this one, let's talk about this new rule change that the Department of Labor just made, how it's going to impact Uber and Lyft, and it might even get another company that will surprise you. So let's get into it. Hey guys, all right, so let's dive into this. I'm going to bring it up. Uh, so basically what's going on is the U.S. Department of Labor withdrew the independent contractor rule. So basically think Uber and Lyft drivers, any of your gig economy, Postmates, DoorDash, all those guys have traditionally been labeled as independent contractors. And that gave Uber and Lyft a lot of leverage and it let them save a lot of money. So if we look back uh, just last year, California tried to get rid of this independent contractor rule and make Uber and Lyft classify all these guys as actual employees. So, I mean, Uber and Lyft together with DoorDash and Instacart spent $200 million trying to fight this last year, and they were actually successful. So this Prop 22 got rejected in California, which let them continue to classify people as independent contractors that drive for them. So, you know, anybody that fires up the app, hey, yeah, I'm driving, hey, I can take fares, that kind of stuff, independent contractor. And what does that mean? So basically that dumps them into the FLSA, which is the Fair Labor Standards Act. So basically that says that they need to now classify as employees. And this is why you're, you're seeing Uber and Lyft down and, and I'll pull them up here in a minute and you can see what it's doing to their stock price. So basically all these guys will now be need to at least make minimum wage. They will also qualify for overtime. They'll have to track the hours worked and Uber and Lyft. And, and I'll keep saying Uber, Uber and Lyft, but it's basically any gig employee will basically need to uh, – they'll need to keep record keeping for them. They'll also – and this is really probably why you're seeing the, the biggest impact on the downturn. So they're going to be subject now to unemployment taxes – uh, Social Security, you know, your plethora of other government taxes that go on and above. So you got to figure they're they're now going to have to pay roughly 23-ish percent. It's usually what it works out to in just about every state. Well, I mean, except for California because that's just a mess. But uh, so you figure roughly add on, you know, 23 percent to this 725 minimum. You know, Uber and Lyft are now going to have to figure out a way to make sure that people are driving enough and that they're not wasting time. You know, in the current setup, you can kind of piddle around all you want. If you're not taking fares, that's just on you. But if they're paying minimum wage. This starts to get to be cumbersome. But yeah, so looking at it, uh, we'll go over here people real quick. So basically we can see uh, Lyft is down 6.3%. Uber's down, what, 9, 9.3%. 9 so these are tanking, just, I mean, taking a pummeling. Your algorithms are seeing this. This is a huge impact to their bottom line. Their whole model's built around this. So, and there's another, there's another company out here that's in play, and they're actually having a really good day. So, and that's Amazon up 20 bucks, you know, a little more than half a percent. But why do I say Amazon? Because Amazon has this Amazon Flex, which is delivering for them. So it's a lot, you know, it's a lot like the gig economy, uh, you know, an Uber, uh, a Lyft, you kind of sign up and say what block of time you want to deliver in. So then you go, you block that off, you pick up your stuff from that distribution center, you go make your deliveries, and then you get paid is what it says. So they've got a couple options here. You know, you got to be 21 or older, have a driver's license and a decent sized car. So you can pack a bunch of crap into it. Uh, but yeah, so, I mean, that's another one. That one hasn't been hit yet. I'm surprised. I know that flex isn't a big part of their model, especially in like it is for Uber or Lyft, but it's definitely a growing segment. It's definitely something that they're, they're exploring and trying to work. So Look for this to maybe hit Amazon too. I'm not sure. I don't think a lot of people know about Flex. It's not as well known. I wouldn't be surprised if we see DoorDash, uh, you know, all those other companies, Postmates, Instacart, all that stuff take a hit. I wouldn't be surprised if you don't see my little uh, 
my little buggy from my other one, uh, delivery jobs are going away. Go watch that video. I guarantee you we're going to see a huge uptick in that. This is just another way to drive out this gig economy. So these jobs are going to dry up. It's going to go to technology. You know, Uber and Lyft will pivot. I think this just speeds it up. But if you're an Uber or Lyft stock, this is why you're down big today. If you're panicking, if you're an Amazon, keep an eye out for this. This may hit you too. But this is a big change by the Department of Labor. It, it really, you know, I guess they saw what went on in California and decided that, hey, if the courts aren't going to do it, we're going to do it. So they, they took away the independent contractor rule and they're going to force the hand of these companies. So look for a lot of uh, lawsuits to come out against Uber and Lyft as well. Those costs are going to explode. They're going to have battles on just every front. So just a little heads up. This happened today. They announced it yesterday, went into effect today. It was really, really quick. I know they've been looking at it, but you know they enacted it fast. So if you're in these companies, ugh, I, I, business models in trouble, you might, you make your own decision on what you want to do with your stock. But uh, yeah, there's a fundamental shift there in your business model. I'll catch you guys in the next one.